Hello, hello. Good morning, paper pumpkin people. So I've had my December paper pumpkin, which arrived really late this or last month. Um, and I've been doing other things. And today is finally time to, to, to use it, to do it. But of course, you know how I like to change things up. Um, the paper pumpkin came with this set, which you can see right there. Here, let me turn it over. The bear is cute, the flowers, great words. Um, but I wasn't sure when I would use any of these, so I changed them all up just a little bit. So if you're like me and you like to change things up, I got a video for you today. It's not all that fancy, but it's cute. Get well soon. And on the inside, very simple, using the same designer paper. This is from Celebration. Um, just a little strip down here. And in the kit, um, I got quite a few different um, die cut pieces, elements, and I only had two to do these four cards because I have four of these, what is that, a raccoon? Um, so I thought, well, hey, the stamp set includes um, the flowers, so I'll use that. So two of them, these two right here, which are pretty much the same, they are using the die cut piece, and the two or the, the card that I like to do today, um, I'm using the stamp, and I'll be coloring it in. So I'll be using blends and also inks to color in the bouquet. But I have enough of the adorable raccoon. So let's get started. It will end up looking similar to that. So over here, I have... Um, when you look at the bouquet, see the center of the flowers, how they have a little gold dot? Because I am stamping my own, it doesn't have a gold dot in it. So I thought these metallic pearls would work. Originally I thought, oh, I'll use these, um, these colored pearls. But because the original has the gold and there's gold highlights and elements on um, all the papers here, I think I'm going to stick with the metallic pearls. And make a double bow. So let's start from the bottom of the card and work our way up. Okay, so we'll fold the base paper in half. This is basic gray. And I chose the basic gray just because the raccoon has gray in him. I didn't want to use Cajun craze, which I think that would be Cajun craze. And I didn't want to use colors of the bouquet because I think that would distract from the bang and the pow that the bouquet does. Like I said, this is celebration paper, so I'll attach that. Put it on the front. I kind of like those little dots on it. And the words, get well soon. I'll do those in basic gray. Okay. So this will go right about here. Here's little raccoon. Look, we're getting there. So for the bouquet, on just plain whisper white paper, I stamped the bouquet three times. Three times because I don't want yellow daffodil delight. I don't want daffodil delight stems, nor coral. Black is better just because, first of all, I'm going to use the blends on them, but because this has gray-black tones. So I will color this primarily for the stems and the leaves. I got some new glasses. They make all the difference in the world. Who knew? Sometimes I forget to put them on and then when I do put them on, it's like, oh, that's nice. So with the blends, I'm using olive light and dark. And then the next step is I will cut out the Coral and Daffodil Delight 
um, flowers. And I'm going to cut them out just as they are here. So one, two, three, four, daffodil, one, two, three, four, coral. Okay, so this is light. And I'm purposely going to um, not blend it much. I want to see both of the tones because this is more of a primary, not a super elegant, everything perfect card. It's more, here you go, get well, happy. Okay, those are done. So I'll need to cut out this bouquet. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of a border. And like I said, I'll be cutting out the colored flowers in just a minute. Therefore, these black flowers, those are just going to hold up the colored ones that I cut out, so I'm not going to worry about that. And you know, last night when I was getting ready for this video, every time I try to cut out the flowers, because I'll be doing them on the inside too, it was like, ugh, okay, what am I doing now? I know I, I was probably just getting tired, but if that happens to you, just have this in front of you or this picture in front of you with the bouquet and you could reference that. Okay, so for the yellow, I know that I want, you know what, I'm gonna do all of the yellow and have the orange on top. Okay, so all of the yellow, so I'm just gonna cut around all of these yellow Daffodil Delight little flowers with just a little bit of a border. And it doesn't have to be perfect because um, the orange flowers will cover and those will have a little bit of a border. Between the two borders, it's going to have the perfect border. I like a little bit of a border because it acts as a buffer against the green, so it stands out just a little bit more. And I'm purposely going to try to cut off the leaves. See right here how there's a leaf? And I'm purposely getting closer than I normally would because I want the leaf all gone. I just colored a leaf. I'd rather use those. And on this yellow Daffodil Delight cutout, I'm purposely cutting out the stems because I want the stems to be black. I don't want yellow stems. So in some places I'm getting a little bit closer than I normally would. And I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so here is the yellow, Daffodil Delight, and here is the black. So when I take this and layer it right on top, I have black stems and all of my leaves are showing. Oh, you can tell I'm doing this early. I'm shaky from coffee still. Okay, so that's how it will look, and I'm going to do one more layer cutting out only the orange ones, the coral, so see just the four, and I have that done, just a minute. So here's the coral, and it's these same four. See right here? I cut out just those. So that I'm going to glue on top of here. Okay, so let's make the little bouquet. And I'm going to use liquid glue. I could use my adhesive, but I would probably have it webbing and stringing over areas I don't want it. It would end up being more work than it's worth. Liquid glue works pretty good. So this morning, here in Oregon, it's cold. So much that the little mountain we could see right outside the front window, it has snow on it. They said we might get a flurry, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean we're really going to get snow. Okay, so I'm laying that right on top. Now let it sink in. 
make sure I don't see any yellow flowers peeking out behind the coral. And now with this one, wherever there's flowers on here, I'm going to put glue and the bouquet will be done. I'm avoiding the stems because the stems are going to be black. Okay, so that is cute. What do you think? And I'm just gonna set this off to dry and then I'll work on the rest of the card. Dry. Okay, so there's a sample. And I'm gonna need a linen double bow. You could do a regular bow if you don't wanna do a double bow. Or a little white one would be cute. That crinkle white seam binding, that would be really cute on here. I kind of like the natural look of the linen thread against the critter, the little raccoon. Because I think the raccoon got into twigs when he was finding the bouquet, the get well bouquet. You know, you had to have a story. Okay, so there is double bow. And I have a video, one of my first videos was double bows, so if you want to make them, there's a video to show you how. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry just a little longer. Um, let's work on the inside. I was about to put the, this is pear pizzazz, I was about to put the pear pizzazz paper in there, but it's nice when you can see the border. It's nice when I can see the border. So, you are on my mind. I'll do that in Calypso Coral. These words are nice. Okay. And the bouquet on the inside. This I've, I'm making this really simple. But sometimes simple is good. So here's a little strip. It's a half an inch by five and a quarter. It's just going to sit right down here. So I'll find the bouquet. This is Memento ink. So once again, I could do a little bit of the... Um, blends, use the blends. Because having just black flowers, not good. That means you're really sick. We don't want to do that. Okay, so the stamping is done. So I will attach these pieces. And I do plan on doing something with all of the pieces that came in this paper pumpkin. Um, so in the next few days, I am going to get through it. So if ever you have um, cardstock and it comes with a little dot or something, chances are you'll cover it up. Or if you flip it over, it's just fine. I don't know what that is. When I was cutting it, I noticed it. Celebration! Oops. You know what? I'm going to put it just a little lower. Because I like that stem. I want more of the stem to show. Okay, so once again using the blends, a color in the leaves, all of dark, and all of light. If ever your um, stamping or coloring doesn't come out like you really think it should, are you using Whisper White? or basic white, it really makes a difference. Many times I practice on my um, scratch paper, and it's like, what is going wrong here? It's because I'm not using the nice paper. Okay, and so I will cut out pieces. I've got some cut out here. Once again, yellow, all of the flowers, letting the stems be black, and then a little bit of the coral so attach those with liquid glue.
Then again, liquid glue. I'm not sure which ones are coral and which ones are daffodil. So I'll just put it on the back of the coral. Oh, I did it on black at one point. It upside down. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why are things so hard? There they match. So today is Sunday. Today is family dinner. And usually family dinner is very nice. The boys cook good. Um, and last Thanksgiving we did um, seafood Thanksgiving and I was kind of a naysayer like Thanksgiving is supposed to be traditional and um, but it turned out so good we were thinking of doing it this year we, we ended up not doing that which is fine um, but then we heard Michaela she's never had lobster so we planned on doing lobster just so she could try it and we plan on doing it for New Year's. But guess what? The kids got COVID. They were quarantining for 10 days. So that didn't happen. Guess what tonight is? Family dinner. Everyone is healthy. We're going to do it tonight. Um, dimensionals. So we're going to do surf and turf. Um, did you know on Amazon, you can order frozen live I guess they're not live Maine lobster we did that last year um, for Thanksgiving and they're really good so once again did it they were here for New Year's but they've been in the freezer because they came like frozen freezer pack and pulled them out yesterday Gramby I'm not sure what kind of steak he's gonna do and Michaela is making tiramisu that girl she she can do pretty good cooking bacon she does good stuff so that's kind of fun so raccoon i put him down flat with adhesive on the bouquet i'm going to put dimensionals on the back three of them and then the stem i'm going to have that just flat and i'll probably just do it with should i do it with a glue dot i'll do it with a glue dot But you know what? I want it up a little bit high. I'll just fold it over. Because I want a lot of that stem to show. Okay, and this for the linen thread. Is it turning out cute? I'll trim off these ends. I want them a little bit long. I don't want them just to disappear. Because I think the raccoon was going through thatch. Okay, so the last final touch is the pearls. Because there's gold highlights here. I guess on the other card there was gold flower centers. We need gold. Metallic pearls. They pack a whole lot onto one little sheet. <gasps> that is cute. Yeah, I think the gold is better than the the pastel ones. So if you're tuning in, you're probably already a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, but if you need to renew your subscription, um, I'd love to have you as one of my people. I have to renew my subscription. Um, but it's fun. It's fun to get it in the mail every month. You never know what's coming. And if you're not all that fond of the kit, not saying that ever happens to me, but you can always change it up. And there's Paper Pumpkin Fan Club. And I usually change all of mine up quite a bit too. Um, but you can make it work for you. So there is Paper Pumpkin, one of my alternates. 
I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. I will put all the products I used on this card and the prior card um, on my blog, which is jillybling.com. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.